for three years or even decades. But David, you, you would accept that the consequence of that kind of tightening that austerity would be uh, even more people would be unemployed and therefore tax revenues would fall. I mean, in other words, there's a, there's, the scenario you're painting is pretty grim. Yes, that's the dilemma that we're in. We're in a deflationary cycle. We can't afford to borrow more. We can't afford to create artificial demand and artificial employment. And so, therefore, we're likely to have unemployment in the teens for the balance of the teens, that is, for a decade or more. That's the uh, mess that we have created after 30 years of... Uh, you know, uh, tax giveaways and lack of control on entitlements and running this massive $800 billion war budget that we don't need and can't afford. It uh, sounds like very harsh medicine, but it happens to be reality. We cannot borrow our way out of this one, in my judgment. We're now uh, uh, facing the day of reckoning, literally. How can David Stockman or any Republicans, or even for that matter, matter any deficit hawks, look at what is happening now in the country with 9.1% unemployment, with 13.5 million people unemployed and millions more too discouraged even to look for work, and say that's not a problem, we just have to eat our medicine, we just can't do anything, Washington can't do anything? Well, that is Herbert Hoover economics, and that should be rejected outright. David? Well, I don't know if I sound like Herbert Hoover, but I think Professor Reich sounds exactly like Art Laffer. In other words, we don't have to take fiscal medicine. Austerity is never uh, needed. What we need to do is imagine we can grow our way out of this problem. I think it is too late for that. We can't grow our way out of this problem. The economy has failed. It's busted. We haven't created one new job in net in the last 12 years. So as a result of that, we have to worry about where the world bond market, the currency market, and monetary conditions are going to be. Two years ago, Greece was borrowing two-year money at 3%. This morning, they're borrowing at 30%. There reaches a point when the bond market uh, is no longer willing uh, to tolerate the kind of fiscal irresponsibility we have. And I think we're very close to that, and it is very foolish to run a risk uh, of trying to uh, find out how much longer we can go on with this before the reaction sets in. 